Hi everyone, so this is my makeup collection. This is where I do my makeup in front of my window since it has natural lighting. Um, I got this, it's actually a coffee table from Ikea. I think it was maybe $70, but I do everything sitting down. I think it's a lot easier to access everything. It takes up less room in my room. So yeah, so down here it has a shelf or like a long shelf that's divided and um, I just have like random stuff in here I have like some hair ties um, a letter from Andy old cell phone like hand lotion um, q-tips some makeup bags back there um, my tripod and a sway powder um, here, I don't know, I forgot where I got this box. It was, I think it had like a candle inside or something, but I thought it was pretty. And I just put all of my like tube glosses in here. I have a bunch of Beauty Rush ones. Some that are like stored upside down so I can get mm, the product um, at the top so it's easier to use. Yeah, so I keep those in there. Um, there's my nail polish thingamajig so my nail polish I have some like random pretty boxes that I put makeup that I either don't use anymore or stuff I collect for like to give to friends what and whatnot I got this at the Dollar Tree and it's just like a mini compartment to keep everything stored nicely so I have like an extra tissue box um, product that I don't use, um, my face masks, wipes, and whatnot. And this was only a dollar. I like how it keeps everything nice and clean. Um, on this shelf I have all my Urban Decay palettes, my Naked palette, um, Book of Shadows 2, Alice in Wonderland, um, New York Book of Shadows. So you have those. Um, I have my Tokidoki boxes. The Soda Shop one I haven't opened yet because I still need to review and do swatches for her, which is taking a long time. So it's still in its box. Um, I have a Sephora palette that I need to like do swatches and review for my blog. Elf palette, the 100 palette. Um, Benefit Glola box that I barely use. Um, some Boots glosses that someone sent me and like a I think it's pop makeup it just has like blushes and lip gloss and eyeshadows that's like I don't like the eyeshadows but um the blushes are really nice I can open it so keep it for the blushes and then I have like another makeup bag back here hair juku one whoa whoa what are you doing whoa was walking around so I have that um, so over here, I have the drawer things that I got at, um, the smaller ones I got at Big Lots. I got that one at Big Lots and then they didn't have any more and I really needed another one. So I went to Target and I thought it was the same size but it wasn't. So that just sits on top. It doesn't like connect or anything like these ones do, but whatever works. Um, here's my makeup brushes. These aren't all of my brushes just because I just did... Um, prom makeup, so I have all my dirty brushes in that thing that I need to wash. Um, I got these at, I think, like the Dollar Tree or 99 cent store, and they're like two for a dollar fifty, I think. Very inexpensive. So there's that. I have like eyebrow pencils in here too, mascara, whatnot. Um, okay, so up here I have like random stuff, I have like sharpener, lint roller, some Clinique lotions, perfumes, whatnot. So I'm going to start in this one. Um, this one, actually I used to put my blushes in these two top ones, but they weren't fitting anymore, so I had to move some stuff around, so now my blushes have its very own drawer. But on the bottom one here, I have all my lip balms, lip glosses. I'm not going to go into detail of like which every specific one is but kind of get a good idea of what I like. I have 
Dior, Ponjo, Benefit. I have a bunch of Benefit, um, Revlon, a bunch of Hip Jelly Bombs, Hello Kitty Pink Fish, Rosebud Salve. I have a bunch of backup chapsticks back here. Um, these are the NYC lip, like tint, lip tint thingies. Um, so that's that. If you want a video, like a separate video on like my lip gloss collection, I can do that and list out all of those and do swatches for you if you want. This is my lip sticks, and I got this at the Dollar Tree. It came in a pack of three. Fits very conveniently. Um, on this side and back here are like drugstore brands. So I have like Revlon, Maybelline, um, L'Oreal, Hard Candy, bunch of Wet n Wild, all the matte lipsticks. Here I have like lip pencils that I barely use. These ones are all like um, department store or like high end, I guess. Like my MAC lipsticks, Stila. It's like a Victoria's Secret one. It's pretty good. Um, Benefit, Dior, Berry M, uh, Clinique, Lancome. So there's that. And here again are my blushes. Um, like Forever 21, Maybelline blushes, Rockin Republic eyeshadow that I use as a blush because it's a really nice coral. Elf, um, Mac. Sculpting Shape, MAC, um, MSFs, of Light Flush, and Porcelain Pink, Shulmura Blushes, um, Elf Blushes, Elf Bronzer, and whatnot, Cargo, Hard Candy, Highlighter, Jill Stewart, Esprit, Revlon, um, Physician Formula, Rockin' Republic Tees. In here I have like miscellaneous stuff, all my like extras, backups, like my e.l.f. eyelid primer, eyelash glue that I haven't tried yet but someone said is really good. Um, yeah, it's like a bunch of random stuff in here. Then in here I have like a bunch of samples that I'm not going to even try to take out because it's like very, very full makeup wipes for like traveling and whatnot. Got them at Big Lots for a dollar. There's like a lot of different samples and stuff. Here I keep my eyelashes. Um, this actually got the Dollar Tree as well. I know it's for pills, but it stores your eyelashes nicely and like, I would keep the Ardell boxes that take way too much room and I could barely open this drawer. So I got this to store my eyelashes. And it fits seven pairs very nicely. And um, here's, like, ones that aren't open yet, like Forever 21, my box lashes from China, and whatnot. And then here I have, like, face powders, um, concealer, primer, setting powder open drawer for I don't know what yet, um, like eyeliners, mascaras, eyelash, um, rope stuff from L'Oreal that works pretty well. Here, um, my Benefit Creaseless Shadows. These are really, really good. Here I keep, I guess, like, high-end eyeshadow. I keep like my MAC pal um, Royal Acids palette in Warm Eyes, Jill Stewart palette, Stila, Rockin' Republic eyeshadow, Smashbox, Clinique, um, my Luna Twilight, um, NARS, Lancome, no. Oh. Here I keep all my Wet n Wild. Palettes. Um, I have those. I have the eight palette or the eight shadow palettes. Some single shadows. Here I have, I guess you can call drugstore um, palettes or shadows. I have my NYX palette, casting call that I just did a tutorial on. Some Almay, uh, Tropez 
This was a really good, inexpensive brand at Walgreens, but they discontinued it. And the shadows are really, really pigmented. So it's a good palette, but I don't think they make it anymore. Um, this is like Bon Bell. I like the shimmery colors sometimes for my like inner um, tear duct. Maybelline um, palette that everyone loves. The Stylish Smokes that I think is alright. It's not amazing, but whatever. Annabelle. Some pigments. Um, L'Oreal Hip that I barely use, but it's really, really pretty. Maybelline. Elf. Um, here I have single shadows. Well, I have, or I have like my Japanese and Korean stuff, I guess. My Majolica Majorca palette. I used to use this all the time. I don't know. I forgot I had this. <laughs> See, this is nice. You know, you get to look through your stash and rediscover stuff. Revlon Satin Shadow. I love gray eyeshadow. This is on clearance anyway, so it's really inexpensive. Um, Laneige, um, La Shuka that my friend got for me when she was in Korea. I can open it. It's like a nice earthy palette. Isn't that pretty? It works really well wet. Um, NYX Single Revlon Cream Shadow that I used to use a lot too. Here I have like miscellaneous stuff. I have like my tweezers, eyebrow shavers, lash glue, random brushes I don't really use. Over here, um, here I saw my brushes. I'll move those. Um, I got this at, I think, like a thrift store for a dollar or whatever. It's just a glass cup. I put all my NYX jumbo pencils in, all my, like, eye primers, Urban Decay glitters. Um, I have e.l.f. brush cleaner. I have MAC brush cleaner. Back here I have um, like some strong stuff that someone got for me from iMats. I haven't even used it yet, but they said it's amazing. Um, like random little brushes that I don't want to like touch other brushes in there, so I keep them in this tin from my Rosebud South trio thing that I got, which is useful. So. Um, I covered my table with like a cloth and it's really dirty. I should probably wash it, but it keeps my table from getting all gross and yucky. Um, I have like my Maybelline powder. I'm almost out. So I picked up this L'Oreal one that was on clearance at CVS and it's just, you know, setting powders, nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy or, you know, does the job. Uh, my other physician formula blush that I use like every day. This is a natural. Um, my hair thingy. Mirror. Mirror. This one opens up on both sides and it has like a lighting gauge that helps with lighting if it's not like bright enough. Um, another white light. BB cream. Like various concealers. Stuff I use pretty much every day except for the tinted moisturizer. Um, this is really good. Shuomura Deep Sea Water. I use it for like everything. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, and then back here, this is my last big purchase. It was a NARS eye box from Nordstrom. I haven't opened yet, but it comes with like all these good things that I'll do a review. I'll probably be doing my Project 10 or whatever to do um, finish 10 products before I buy anything else because that was my really last big purchase. I'm waiting for something from Rockin Republic to come in the mail, but um, other than that, I think I'm I need to stop my makeup kick because this is way too much makeup for myself and I don't even do people's makeup. Often I do like my sister's friends prom makeup and stuff and they're seniors now so I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this makeup. So this is my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you later. Bye!